Okay, I had someone ask how to adjust the strike indicator on the side of the detector. This is the mercury switch that actually turns the light on and off for those not familiar with it. But right here, you wanna make sure there's enough of a gap here to where this arm should be able to clear. This is in first ball before anything starts, but you wanna make sure there's enough clearance for the lip of this switch latch right here to clear this guy. That's your first in, first adjustment right there. Make sure that's clear. And then also, there should be just enough of a gap between the lever here and the catch here, so whenever you get into a strike, it'll drop freely. Let me go ahead and set it up to do a strike and get that to actually operate. Okay, I started the cycle of the machine and is now where the strike indicator should be lit. If you lift it up, there should be just enough clearance to clear that arm right there that doesn't catch right there. Now right now the machine is on second ball and you'll see here that this lever is further back than it was on first ball which can be adjusted right here by this finger coming off the side of the detector or if you can you can just bend this just a little bit but you want to make sure whenever you start cycling on second ball It'll drop down and catch. Let me go and cycle the machine and show you that. You see right now I'm on second ball from 90 just going to 180. If you notice, that little lever here is underneath and is holding the mercury switch up so that way it does not light up. And if it's flickering, then you want to make sure that the mercury switch actually will drop down far enough to continue the circuit. Let me get it to that position. Okay, again, this is where the mercury switch should be lit up. If your switch isn't leaning far enough down, it's gonna flicker. It's like this, it's only coming down about here. It might be flickering instead of dropping down a little further. This little arm right here, there's a pin sticking out the side of the detector right there. You can either bend that arm down just a little bit or bend this guy just a little bit down to where it'll the switch will angle down you want it to be down like that's neutral you need it to be down a little further so that way it has a complete circuit for the strike indicator to stay on if for some reason it's still flickering it could be that the wires on the back of the mercury switch have broken and you just need to get a new switch put in there but anyways hopefully that helps with how to adjust the strike indicator let me know if you have any other questions or any other requests. I'll try to do them. Thanks for watching.